In this video, I, I'm doing uh, more examples of trigonometric limits. Uh, if you haven't watched the first video, it should be, um, the link is uh, up there. Please make sure that you watch that video first. We, in the first video, uh, these are the properties of the trigonometric limits. It has to approach zero, that's important. It has to approach zero, that's important. And also, the argument of the trig function should be exactly uh, like the denominator. So you can change the denominator according to the uh, argument, but you cannot change the argument according to the denominator. So you can touch the argument. So let's try these questions. The first, uh, the steps are right here. I'm going to substitute. If we get the answer from substitution, good. If we didn't get uh, the answer like we got 0 or 0, then we rewrite the question or um, uh, first we will rewrite the question and then we will do more work. In the trig function, more work means I have to do uh, apply the properties if they look like this. Okay, so let's try. Limit x approaches 0 e to the power x cosine x over 4. So I'm doing direct substitution first. e 0 cosine 0 over 4. Now, e to the power 0 means 1. Cosine 0 is also 1. We did this. You can check. Uh, you guys can check it in the unit circle right here. That's my unit circle, and you can check it over here. So you can check that. Cosine is 0. Cosine means uh, x value. And uh, since I'm talking about 0, 0 is right here and cosine is 1. So I already know that. So it's 1 and 4 is going to stay as a 4. So 1 fourth is my answer. So from direct substitution I got the answer. So we don't have to do anything else. Now look up here. Do you see it doesn't it look like the property that we had? The property was limit theta approaches 0 sine theta over theta, right? The argument in the denominator should look like the same and I'm approaching 0. 0 is fine but you can tell the argument in the denominator doesn't look the same. So how do I make the denominator exactly look like uh, the argument? Uh, up here the theta theta is fine but I just need 4. So how can I get that 4? I'm going to show you that. You're going to go limit theta approaches 0 sine 4 theta right but what do I do with the denominator so I can also uh, make this 4 how do I get 4 here so in this case my 4 is you can multiply 4 top and bottom like I can multiply 4 here then I have to do whatever I do the bottom I can do it on the top whatever I do one side of the equation I have to do it on the other side of the equation that's the rule right so do you see this? When I multiply 4 top and bottom, now my argument and my denominator are exactly the same. So this whole portion is equal 1. You know that was equal 1, right? So this is equal 1. So now I have 4. I'm going to move that 4 up here. Limit theta approaches 0. And this one I got sine 4 theta over 4 theta. So this whole thing is 1 and 4 is going to stay as a 4. This whole thing is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. So this is how you can do it. Let's do this one. Now in this one, if you guys pay attention, um, I am approaching 0. It does look like sine theta over theta thing, but the argument in the denominator are not the same. So what do I do to make this denominator exactly look like 2x. So in order to do that, get rid of this 3, okay? And it's not just a 3, it's a one third, you know, it's a fraction. So the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say limit x approaches 0, one third, I'm gonna move that, and now I have sine 2x, you know, we can't touch the argument over x. So this is exactly the same thing like we have up here in the question but I just moved the two, I mean the three. So now what do I do? I need uh, to multiply two with the x in the denominator so I can exactly have something like an argument, right? 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to one third up here. I move the coefficient kind of thing or the constant move to the front. And I have sine 2x over x. Now I need to multiply 2 top and bottom. So I'm multiplying 2 and 2, right? So now what do I have here? You know that 2 can multiply with this one because it's not an argument. It's just a coefficient that we just did. So I'm going to go 2 third limit x approaches 0 sine 2x over 2x. So you can tell this whole thing is equal because my argument denominator is exactly the same now. This is equal 1. So I got 2 third times 1. The answer is 2 third. Okay, next question. 2 sine 5 theta over 3 theta. Now, I know I, if I have a 5 theta instead of this 3, then I'm good. But let's get rid of this 2 third first. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that 2 third first. Okay, let's try. So move the 2 third. And I have limit this 2 third. Okay, that and that one. So limit x uh, theta approaches 0, I got sine 5 theta over theta because I moved the 3 already. Now I can multiply 5 top and bottom um, with this so I can get the 5 theta exactly like a argument. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply 5 over here and I'm going to multiply 5 here. Okay, 5 times five times so what do I get now uh, you know this five is going to multiply with that two we can do this so I have five times two is ten over three then I have limit theta approaches zero and I'm left with this which is sine five theta over five theta now this whole thing is equal 1 and I got 10 third over there times 1 is going to give me 10 third. Okay, let's go back and it make it easier to do when you have the properties there. Now let's do the tangent part. Okay, in the tangent, uh, I don't have tangent in the uh, unit circle so I have to make sure that I uh, write the identity for this okay so I'm gonna write the identity I have actually limit theta approaches 0 tangent is sine theta over cosine theta and then I have this theta I can rewrite this like times 1 over theta it will give me the same thing I just rewrote it then I have limit theta approaches 0 sine theta over cosine theta okay now uh, what do we do so we it should look like uh, like this sine theta over theta okay so sine theta is gonna be sine theta um, I can move that theta under sine and I can do 1 over cosine theta I can do this so let's see how it goes. I have sine theta over theta. I want it to look like that, okay? Times 1 over cosine theta. It's not changing anything. We're good, right? So this whole portion is going to be 1, okay? So this whole thing is equal 1, right there, times 1 over cosine theta. You know 1 over cosine theta when I plug in my limit uh, at theta approaches 0 is going to give me cosine 0 and 1 times 1 over cosine 0 is 1 so 1 times 1 is going to give me 1 so this is how I got that one you guys can play with it rewrite the question see if uh, I'm rewriting it this way you if you want you can rewrite it something different way and see if it works okay 
So let's do question number six. In question number six, um, I'm going to plug in the direct substitution thing. I'm going to plug in zero here. When I plug in zero, I'm getting zero over zero. And you guys can check that. Two minus two cosine zero. And this cosine zero, I have to rewrite it like this okay so i plugged in one so two minus two uh, over zero zero over zero so i have to do more work more work means i need to factor all that stuff but since it's a trick i can use my identity but you can tell um, the two i can factor out i can do this first so limit Theta approaches zero. Guys, always, always try to rewrite the question first if you can. In this case, that's easy and simple and quick to do it because I have a common factor there, right? Cosine squared theta over theta. So this is, I rewrote it. I didn't do anything else. Um, and I know I got a zero over zero. Whether I rewrite it like this or not, I am getting zero over zero. So now I, what I'm going to do this is one of my looks like my identity um, and my property which was something like this over theta and i know this was equal zero so I, this one look like this but except that square thing right so let's get rid of or move this two to the front so we can have really look like a property so now i have one minus cosine theta and uh, Square actually and over theta now I can use identity for 1 minus cosine square theta and I can uh, if you guys remember I gave you the identities in the beginning and I can go back and show you those identities uh, they were here right there so since 1 minus cosine square theta is right here and that's my identity I can make it equal sine square theta so I'm going to use sine squared theta for this question. So there we go. I have sine squared theta over theta, right? And I still have that two limit theta approaches zero. Now, first it looked like that, but now in this case, you can tell it looked like this, right? Sine squared theta. Now, what is it sine square theta means? It means I have two of those, right? Two square, uh, two sine theta. Let's see. So now I have sine theta over theta times sine theta. I just separated them. I want it to look like either like this or this, right? Which was equal one. Okay, so this is what I got. I know sine theta over theta is you know that that's what we have equal one right this whole thing is equal one two is going to stay as a two we know that two times one times sine zero so what is sine zero because i'm going to plug in that zero that theta approaching sine zero is zero so everything is equal zero right so this is how this whole thing is going to go. Okay, let's try this one. In this one, um, you plug in zero, the direct substitution. So it's going to give me um, zero over zero. You can plug in zero for cosine zero. I know cosine zero is one. One minus one is zero. Zero plus sine two theta theta is zero then sine zero sine zero is zero so i got zero over zero and i'm talking about all that stuff from this unit circle okay so this is what i'm talking about from the unit circle you guys can check this uh, plugging in okay so like i said i got cosine zero this is zero cosine means one one minus one is zero then I have sine zero, uh, which is zero. So everything zero is zero. Now, before I do zero, zero, I need more work, everything. I, there is, a, I think for the identity, right now I don't have any identity to use for this, but I can do something uh, uh, rewriting the question. Every time when you have, uh, when you have a denominator like a single term denominator like this one split split 
a fraction that's another rewriting okay so I'm gonna do limit theta approaches zero and I'm splitting this so I have one minus cosine theta I know this is one whole term divide by theta plus sine 2 theta over theta so I split this now this whole thing is one of the identity look like which is zero so I know this whole thing turned zero right plus what about this one I'm left with that which is sine 2 theta over theta in this whole thing is limit theta approaches zero so this zero we can just ignore that one but what do we do with here I'm going to rewrite this and I'm going to ignore that zero on the top sine 2 theta over theta now this one look like this property but I have to have a 2 in the bottom so argument and denominator exactly look like the same so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna multiply 2 on the top 2 in the bottom right so now I'm left with limit theta approaches 0 this whole thing turn 1 so 2 times 1 which will give me 2 you can use different way to do it uh, as long as you get the same answer mm, question number eight and if you check question number eight has like uh, something that you really need to rewrite it and use identities for this one right cosecant and cosecant and we know cosecant um, identity was uh, I think it was one over cosecant one over sine theta that was one of the identity okay but before I use any identity here that's a single one term right in the denominator I can split first so let's split that limit theta approaches zero and I'm going to split theta cosecant theta over theta cosecant theta plus one over theta cosecant theta now they can cancel out and I'm left with one see I'm making it simpler theta zero so that's one uh, what do we do here we can also do one theta times one over cosecant theta I, I just want to use identity for this one so we can make it more simple one plus one theta times now this is 1 over I know cosecant was cosecant theta identity was 1 over sine theta okay so I'm gonna use 1 over sine theta now since I have these fractions uh, this is a big fraction if these are a fraction I can do reciprocal so I'm gonna use a reciprocal here so I have a sine theta over 1 now you know what happens here right 1 plus sine theta over theta so multiply straight across and again I have to keep my limit at theta approaches 0 now I I can tell limit theta approaches 0 this portion is 1 that one is going to stay 1 but this is 1 1 plus 1 is equal to okay here is the last question um, again you plug in 0 direct substitution sine 0 is 0 sine 0 is 0 cosine 0 is 1 so I am getting 0 over 0 this is what I'm getting uh, then I need to factor more work identities if I can so in order for me to use identity if you guys pay attention sine x is a common factor and always common factor like it's the first thing is just pop up in my head when I see something like this so that's cosine X right over X squared now this is 1 minus cosine X and this is sine X over X since I, I can rewrite this and see if it would work if the rewriting doesn't work then I mean obviously we can sine X over X times 1 minus cosine x over x now I have two axes so I just wrote it down like this this one and that one is exactly the same thing now let's uh, 
pay attention here this is sine x over x and this is our property right which is equal one times this whole thing is equal zero that was again our property and i am approaching um, zero so the answer is zero okay so these are the questions that you can apply different things to do it now i'm going to go back and show you how this uh, this is the homework um, like I, I you guys can pause the video and look at these questions and i will review this in the next video but you guys try it yourself so these are quest four questions you can pause it and do it here is my five six i have seven eight and uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you can pause those video for 14 questions and uh, I will review the homework with you guys in the next video. But try to do these first yourself. Okay, so I'm going to go back again. I pause, pause the video, pause the video, pause the video. Pause the video, pause the video. Okay, this is day six homework and then I'll do it with you guys. Now, um, uh, please like and subscribe. I would be, um, I would be grateful. Thank you. Bye.